The NFL regular season kicks off with the Packers versus the Bears uh, in about two weeks. 11 states, 11, now feature full-scale legalized betting. Here to discuss uh, the latest in gambling trends is Jason Robbins, CEO and co-founder uh, at DraftKings. Those are regular season games in two weeks? Yeah. Right. Can you when was it? the Super Bowl? In February. It happens to Brady, right? Didn't the, 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 Brady am I remember? somehow got That just happened, game. though, didn't it? Uh, it happens it faster feels the like it was yesterday. <laughs> so... Your business right now, and, and I don't know, how did you know in 2012? Is that when you launched We started this in 2012. You, you were like in college or something, weren't you? <laughs> I wish I were that young. Yeah, but in in you started right. developing things and, and ways to do this long ago, right? And then you, you yeah. launched it in 2012. You didn't know it was going to be legalized then, did you? Well, we had fantasy sports back then, which is a pretty good business for us. It's, you know, business. What? We'll do about $2 billion in prizes across the country in that business this year. But what will you do now that, and I asked you when you sat down, can I just bet on college? If I can you... bet on college football games. I live in New Jersey. Perfect. I can wager... Can I put ten thousand dollars on Notre Dame or, or something? Or I don't know about ten thousand. Depends on. Well, you I'm know. saying I'm just wondering if, if you people can, put, can really you can get bet in on trouble. Notre Dame to win. If you would like uh, to do that, if you live in Jersey, or even if you're just located in Jersey, you don't actually have to be arrested. What's my limit? If it, I'm wondering if people can really get in trouble with this. Well, yeah. we we have you know very uh, sophisticated algorithms, and we also have a team that's looking at different people's behaviors. So we wouldn't just let you come in out of the gates and bet ten thousand dollars. You'd have to you know do some work to show us. I'd have to go into the stock market to do that, where they don't look at anything. They don't uh, look at anything. Yeah, exactly. There's an AML. Uh, there's there? AML, but it's also just responsible gaming. We but you don't have sure. to show your credit well, history or anything. You like don't either. have to show your credit history, but there are some things we'd want to ask to you. To know your customer. Uh, yeah, make sure that. I think one of the things we all have to be careful of is this is a fun activity, and for a you know small number, small percentage of people, it can be too much. And if we let that, you know, go unchecked, then I, mean, we're I, gonna I can see how it could issues. become not so fun really quickly. Uh, for for most people, that's never an issue. But okay. the last thing we want at this exciting stage, when everyone's talking about all the great things happening, uh, is to have negative uh, experiences for people. So this is something we've made a real priority at the company. Responsible gaming is actually in our mission statement. So you know, it's something front and center for us. So how much of the business is still? And explain how it works. Because I, I told you that. I probably need to be a much bigger fan to be able to do your normal, your bread and butter, and that is drafting different players. Do I do it every every Sunday or? You can do it any day. Most uh, people around the country, DraftKings Fantasy Sports is still the, the sole product we have they can access. And Thursday to kick off the season, which is two weeks from last Thursday, we're going to have a million dollar top prize contest, two and a half million total, only $10 to enter. If you win, you get a million bucks. Sunday, we have another one, uh, $5 million total. That one's $20 to enter. And how do I win? I got to pick, pick a team? You pick the right players. That's, uh, <laughs> basically, the statistics of those players in the games get uh, translated into fantasy points. And you go up against other players, other competitors, and whoever picks the best team gets first place, second best gets second. But you don't have to win first. In that game on Sunday, second place is several hundred thousand dollars still. I saw that, that you know, we looked at the last quarter, and it wasn't a huge quarter compared to NFL or things like that, but you can bet on, on the, the British Open or? Yeah, golf is very popular for us, especially with Tiger winning the Masters. That caused a huge... Well, how do I bet on golf? What, what would I do? You just go, well, if you want to play fantasy, you can go anywhere in the pick my player. states. You pick, pick my your golfers. six golfers. And pick then six. Just yeah. six, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple. You have a salary cap that's uh, based, you know, on... Uh, or the player's salaries are based on how likely we think they are to do well, and you just assemble a team. And then if you're in Jersey and soon to be other states, you can just go bet who you think will win. You can bet what you think the first round score for somebody will be. There's a number of different things you can bet. All right, Sorkin. Solar panels yep. on your roof. Yep. Unlimited betting on sports. Okay. If you move to Jersey, <laughs> what the hell are you waiting? What is it? The, the Chinese food down on the corner? Is that Chinese the, food in New York City is really good. The, the Met? Uh, look, your look your dinners? Your business city. dinners? Look at this beautiful city. Look at all the things you can do. Compared Jason, to, Jersey is the loosest when it comes to gambling on any of these? No, it's just well, the Jersey closest. legalized first. They're actually quite, uh, you know, I think strict in how they regulate in a good way. It's very tightly regulated there. Um, but they were the first. They've had online casino games for many years now, and they just started sports betting a little over a year ago. I think uh, a lot of that, some people in New Jersey, some of, you know, some 
some good fellows might not be so happy all this is happening, right? Uh, you know, I think that over time, Be maybe careful. you're going to see uh, the black market get disrupted. But what most people don't realize is that the black market's mostly moved to offshore. It's not really Already. that anymore. It's in I mean, the Caymans. Still, huh? Yeah. It's in the Caymans. It's in, yeah. the, it's in different islands, and you have websites and mobile sites, and it's hard to get your money on and off. So some people are running money back and forth, and there's like a whole operation around it. But it's mostly mm -hmm. online, and it's mostly on the islands now. Maybe that's so where Jeffrey 11 Epstein states. Made his money. By the time we're at 50 states, you're going to be, you'll be retired. I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know about, about that. We have a long 40. way to go, but it's definitely exciting. New Jersey's up huge for us. New it Jersey is. is a huge percentage of our revenue now. What, what, what gets better in New Jersey now? New Jersey's oh, almost a third of our revenue now. It's less than three percent of the population in the country. Can you believe that? <laughs> Everything. There's lots of different uh, sports, and you know, year round. Uh, there's March Madness. There's Obviously, you know, football is the big one for us. So we're really and Vegas is okay, though. And, and, and Atlantic City is even better because the Borgata can do all kinds of stuff now, right? Everybody's been growing. It's really, you know, at some point there's going to be a fight for share. But right now with, um, you know, as you said, it's really the black market, I think, that's getting disrupted. There's a lot of transfer happening from the black market into the legal and regulated But we market. should just be happy that this vice is totally legal now in Pitt and it's just growing gangbusters. This well, it's, it's really transferring from the black market, which okay. is safer. It's already was you being done. Tax it. Right. Yeah, Sounds so like it's okay. a, I think it's a win for everybody. The same people who are doing it don't have to break the law anymore. Right. I feel like they're... You know, maybe not going to be able to get their money off of places that are located offshore. It's just a much safer activity.